right, welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest results from NXP Semiconductors. This is the business story behind one stock on a move. And yeah, the stock is moving. I'm Futurum Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. We see the stock selling off big time and wonder what's up. Well, Wall Street looks at this company and their Q1, fiscal Q1 earnings, uh, and uh, they're challenging. Um, Wall Street likes to say beat or miss, and this was, I guess, a miss. But we want to dig into the business here beyond the beat or the miss. When you look at the actual numbers, $3.13 billion. It was down 5% from the previous year. So in this era of AI and semiconductor growth, what's going on here? These numbers are not good. Uh, it's an inventory glut at their customers and indeed at the company itself. Uh, they've, they're pile, they've got piles and piles of semiconductors. I don't know if we can say it's tons. Semiconductors don't really weigh a lot, but they got a lot of them. Uh, they've got uh, uh, tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars of semiconductors stacked up at this company. Uh, and the result is they're not selling more to the customers who also have piles of semiconductors stacked up. That inventory glut is the reason 5% uh, revenue slowdown at this company. And indeed, uh, it's still profitable, profitability hanging in there at 29%, uh, but the inventory is concerning. By my measure, it's 148 days of inventory sitting on the shelves at NXP. Forget what's at their customers. Now they say the customers have got less and they even said that they're gonna to continue to make sure their customers have ample supply. It doesn't look like that's the problem. And maybe that's the problem with the stock. Automotive is the most important thing. Your automotive sales were down 7%. Uh, and 55% and of revenues of this company is automotive. So yes, they sell into industrial. Yes, they sell into mobile. It's probably the chip on your smartphone that lets you do uh, Apple Pay or whatever. But um, in communications, that's not a great business right now either. But NXP fundamentally is suffering from the, the automotive sales um, and the automotive tide is going out. And that's bad news for this company. When that shrinks, doesn't help if the rest of the business is doing okay. How the stock react? As I mentioned, the stock sold off down about 8% uh, when the numbers came out. This company reports their numbers after the close of business on Wall Street. Even though it's a Dutch company, it doesn't do their earnings call until the next morning. And indeed, uh, in the next morning, uh, they had a lot of things to say. Now, the stock had been up 34% for the year. They, in the earnings call, they talked about the turnaround that they said was happening. They said, it's still happening, kind of, sort of, eventually in the second half maybe not as fast as we thought. I want you to listen to the CEO, Kurt Seavers, and see if you can understand what he's saying about when this turnaround is happening, if it's already happened, and how sure his voice sounds. Check this out. What is much more behind that uh, continued resumption of growth now in the second half, which then includes uh, quarter four, uh, is a reacceleration of automotive. Um, you, you see that actually in the third quarter, I mean, we turned the corner from uh, from a quarter two performance in automotive, which was a mid single digit decline to now a mid, mid single digit growth sequentially in automotive. And we definitely want to continue, uh, which has two legs. One is company specific drivers, um, which, which is led by radar, but also a couple of other um, new platforms which are ramping, but also less and less need or digestion of over inventory at our tier one automotive customers. That that will be getting less. While at the same time, I also had to say in this call, it takes longer than we thought. So it reaches now into the third quarter. We we were hopeful uh, it would end a little a little earlier. So that is protracted uh, longer, which is which is one of the reasons why actually the second half growth is a little less than we than we had assumed earlier. So a protracted turnaround. I prefer to see that when people are driving, take your time, but when you're driving a company, let's go faster. Automotive sales, let's happen quicker. It's not happening for NXP and it's not happening for NXP Semiconductor sales uh, and shareholders. But I want to focus again on one number that summarizes this whole story, the drill down earnings bite right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. All right, NXP Semiconductors just reported first quarter earnings. Uh, the stock is down a lot. Why? Well, let's look at the numbers. $3.13 billion in sales was down 5% on a year-over-year -year basis. And while the company says there is a turnaround slowly happening, 
in their biggest customers. Their biggest customers in automotive and with 55% of revenues. The number I want to focus on right here is negative 7%. That's your drill down earnings bite, negative 7%. Automotive sales were negative 7% for this company. That's not good. That drove down the entire business, dragging down the results at NXP. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check me out on X at Corey TV, on Instagram and TikTok at Drill Down Pod, and of course on YouTube. Full, robust earnings reports on YouTube at 65 Media. Follow us, like us, dislike us if you must, subscribe, comment. We want to hear from you.